Hello everyone and welcome to our webinar Controlling Instrument Using LabVIEW. I'm Ahmed Adel, System Engineer from SI, the authorized distributor of NI products in North Africa and Sub-Sahara. This webinar will be available on demand and we will be providing it along with technical answers to any question that you have. Please, don't hesitate to kindly send it over to my email provided in the above description. Let's start our session by asking why you want to control your instrument using LabVIEW. And the first big reason is automation. Not only will automation save your time, it will also reduce other obstacles associated with repetitive measurement, user error, data logging, reporting, mixed signals, and more and more. All of this and many more can be done hassle-free in an easy graphical programming environment called LabVIEW. Once you decide to automate your system, the first thing that should get to your mind is how am I going to create a systematic connection between the software and the instrument. The first step is to check the communication interface of your instrument that will communicate over. For example, this oscilloscope, which we'll be using as our instrument, can communicate over Ethernet and USB, which is pretty basic because it can directly be connected to any computer. Other instruments may communicate over serial or GPIB, so it will need adapters such as PCIe and PCI, or GPIB to Ethernet converted to connect to computer, so it shouldn't stop you from moving forward. After connecting the instrument to the developing machine successfully, the next thing that you should consider is the software. So, the software is divided into two sides. The first side is the driver side, which is responsible of the low-level communication that will help you to communicate over all the interfaces, which eases the process as you send the command and the driver will pass it via the interface. For NI instruments, the drivers will be found in the NI package manager. On the other side, you have the programming languages, such as Python and programming environments. Python, for example, is very popular for controlling instruments. But LabVIEW, however, was designed specially for controlling instruments in an easy graphical programming environment that doesn't require you to have any text coding background. Furthermore, NI adds advantage to LabVIEW by providing high-quality technical support if you have any issue. LabVIEW contains thousands of drivers that make the instrument completely ready to run along with hundreds of technical documentations and guidance that eliminates the need to learn all the low-level communication commands. LabVIEW's design goal is saving the user's time to maximize his efficiency through allowing all the focus to be on the automation part, not the communication part. LabVIEW also is designed to acquire, analyze, and visualize data, in addition to filtering and signal conditioning, and everything you need to in a test and measurement application. Finally, LabVIEW makes it extremely easy to generate customized user interface. To put all of this into action, let's consider this regular oscilloscope and this Alvis 3, the main components of our demo. Let me put up my setup and get back to you. Okay, now I'm set up. The objective of our demo is to control the oscilloscope using LabVIEW software. We will go through the procedure and discuss the functions right now. The Elvis is an academic platform that has built-in function generator, oscilloscope, power supply, and more. So in this demo, we will use the Elvis mainly as a function generator. To control the function generator of Elvis, we will use the, its web-based uh, software measurement slide, and we will generate different waves. Okay, so once you connect the Elvis to the computer, it will direct you to measurement slide uh, web-based software. Uh, as, uh, as you can see, here you can manage the device connection by checking that NI Elvis 3 connected to the, to the software. And from this button, you can add the features that you have already seen on the Elvis uh, platform. Uh, for example, the oscilloscope and function generator, data generator, uh, board analyzer. So in our uh, demo, we'll be needing the function, uh, the function generator. Uh, we will choose a sine wave with a frequency of one kilohertz. Uh, and amplitude uh, through voltage, peak to peak. Uh, then we'll press run. So as mentioned earlier, the first step made is connecting the Elvis and the oscilloscope to my laptop through USB cables. And connecting channel one from the oscilloscope directly to channel one from the function generator to be controlled through my laptop. So first thing first, when you connect the hardware to your developing machine, in our case, this laptop which I'm using, uh, 
uh, we usually use the NIMAX to check, which is the Measurement and Automation Explorer. We use it uh, to check uh, the softwares that are installed on the computer uh, and the devices that are connected. So under the software tab, you will you will find that I already installed the LabVIEW 2021 and the NIVISA 21.5, which we are going to use in this demo. And under the devices and the interfaces, you'll find that I already connected the NILs. If you double click it, you'll find the name and the model, the serial number and the status in our case, which is present. To search for a driver, go to NIIDNet and search for the driver for your instrument. Not all the drivers might be found, but it has a large number of drivers and libraries which worth going through it and search for your instrument driver. For example, let's search for Regal in the manufacturer, the manufacturer of our oscilloscope. So I will type Regal in the search bar. So now, as you can see, there are many drivers for each of the uh, of the Regal product. Here are the model number and the manufacturer, and here you can press and search for the options. So after expanding the options uh, tab, you'll find that the, they are providing the ADE is lab view, the driver type, play a plug and play project, the interface is USB or Ethernet, uh, and it shows if it's NI certified or not. Some of the NI products might not appear in the NI Max, so you may check it in the NI Visa Interactive Control, where you have the access to all Visa functionality interactively in an easy use, uh, in an easy to use graphical environment. It is a convenient starting point for programming, developing, and learning about Visa. NI Visa, as I mentioned before, is the driver that actually handles the low-level communication interfacing over the USB and the Ethernet. So you don't want uh, you don't worry about which protocol uh, you will use. So as you can see on the screen now, uh, this is the address of the oscilloscope that which are which we are using. Uh, here is uh, here are some details about it: the manufacturer and the model and the serial number. Uh, and if you go to the input and output uh, tab, you will find that you can send a command. Uh, to the oscilloscope and it will return by uh, giving some information. For example, this is the identification. If you press read. So if I press right, then I press read. <clears throat> uh, it will return uh, that it's regular technology with the serial number and the model number. Let's now go and check the LabVIEW code that we are going to use. This is our LabVIEW code. The LabVIEW VI or virtual instrument is consistent of two windows. The first is the front panel, where you can design the user interface easily. As shown, here we have the NIVISA interface, where the user can choose from the instrument which he has to be used as an input, and the waveform graph that shows the signals up. The second window contains the graphical code. So, as you can see in this, uh, this is the NI Visa blocks that are responsible of controlling the instrument. There you can see, this block, for example, is the Visa Open block. This one is Visa Write, uh, as same as these two. This one is Read, this one is Clear, and then Close. As you can see, from Read, we can get our waveform. Uh, or the output signal which would be sent to the waveform graph. Now, as you can see, the signal that's on, on the oscilloscope which came from the function generator is the same the signal uh, that in the lab view uh, virtual instrument. So, here if you can see, when, when we change, change the signal from the oscilloscope, it changes in the lab view. We can also change it from the function generator by changing the shape from sine to square. And here you can see it became a square signal. In a nutshell, 
LabVIEW is your best choice when it comes to controlling instruments. It's easy to interfere with and has great abilities to create the most complex automation system. So finally, thank you so much for attending this webinar and please don't rethink sending any question you have to my email found in the description.